Hello, my name is Smokey the Bear. I'm a black bear here in the Yosemite National Park, specifically in the Yosemite Valley. I'm here today to uh, take you on an adventure of something I've been doing in the last three to four years of my life. I've, uh, I've really been uh, kind of stealing, but uh, it's natural for my survival. What I've actually done is uh, foraged anthropogenic food from humans. Now they bring it into the park and I take it away. The only downfall is they hide it in their large apparatuses that I cannot figure out. Some of them are very easy to get into, some are not. Now, what I will actually do is show you the variety of different apparatuses that they use. Now, typically, I normally work alone, but tonight I will have a few friends come along and help me with the game. That is finding the right vehicle. Now, it's kind of a slippery slope going down this hill, but this is where the campground is going to be. Okay? Now, I can already see three apparatuses that can be potentially be abundant with food. Now, these, let's take a look at this one. Oh, this looks like what they call a station wagon. Now, it's very, very long, but very low to the ground. As you can see, I don't smell any food in here. Probably because there's no kids in here. There's nothing in the back. Not even that thing that keeps food nice and cold. I really like it when uh, they bring fish, because that means I don't have to swim all day and get some. But it doesn't look like there's anything in this car. Ooh, sorry about that. My night vision's all screwed up. Let's go to the next car. Next car over here, what they call a traditional sedan. And uh, it's really hard to figure out what's going on here because it's really hard to get into. Now, there's no handle or anything, and I can't see if there's any food in there, but uh, typically these come into second place of me uh, getting food. Lastly, I think this one's a winner. I think it's a winner. Oh, this looks like a sport utility vehicle. Nice and large. Probably keep a nice handful of family members in here. Can't really see inside because the windows are daggone tinted. But it looks like they're all asleep. And they're tense. So what I'm going to do is scavenge. What I like to do is go to the back because this latch over here makes it really easy for me to break in. And if I really want to be very quiet, I just, you know, try to uh, get, oh, oh, it's coming up. Oh, look at there. There's a cooler. I think there's food in there. I smell something. It smells delicious. Looks like it's going to be a payday, boys. Let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, I'm going to find something. Uh-oh, uh -oh, they heard me. I better get running. Hopefully they don't see me or hear me. Those dang old park rangers are so, so difficult to deal with. Always trying to look after me, like they're my mamas. Trying to keep me all natural and all, but I just want these good food. Coming up, coming up. Oh my, look at this. Someone made a mess over here. Now, 
let's see what we got. Let's go see what we got. Oh. Aha. Look at this. This is a delicious apple that I foraged from the SUV. Now, the reason why I like to go for these SUVs is because, like I said, you know, there's typically families that travel in this, therefore they have to bring a lot of food. Food is always good. It looks like they ate everything but this apple. Typically, they'll pack sandwich meat, hot dogs, steaks, hamburgers, tomatoes, lettuce, mayonnaise, and this really strange bubbly thing called beer. Beer runs with bear, and I like it. But you know what? It looks like me and the boys are going to have to split this one apple. That's the life that I live here at uh, Yosemite National Park. Not much going on here, fellas, but uh, it was a pleasure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and demolish his apple before all my boys get back from the... I don't know where they went. It looks like it's all me. It's time to eat. Good night.